Hello, welcome to the English Easy Practice Course Conversations lesson. Now you will listen to some daily conversations in different places. You will learn new vocabulary and improve your listening and speaking skills in English. Let's get started. Good morning, Claire. How are you doing today? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. How about you? Well, I am just fine. That's nice of you to ask. Do we have a test today? Yes, we have a math exam later today. It is on Unit 2. Are you ready for it? I think so. Are we allowed to use a calculator or scratch paper? You can use a calculator for the second part, but not the first part. You may use scratch paper for the whole test. Oh, I better prepare during study hall. I did not study for the part without a calculator. Make sure you review Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. You will need to know everything in the review section for each of those chapters for the Unit 2 test. How many questions are on the test? Part 1 of the test has 25 questions, and Part 2 has 15 questions, so there are 40 total. Are any of the questions multiple choice? There are a couple of multiple choice questions, yes. I'm starting to get nervous about this test. I thought I had prepared, but now I feel like I need to study a lot more. Just do your best and it will be fine. Take my advice and review Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. Come see me during the day if you have any questions. Okay, thank you. I will review Chapter 3 and Chapter 4 during study hall. Are there any bonus points on the test? Yes, there are two bonus questions you can complete for extra points. I will review the questions when I pass out the test to you and your classmates. The bell is about to ring. You better get to your first class. Oh no, I'm going to be late. Can you please write me a hall pass? Yes, I will write you a hall pass, but just this once. What class are you going to? I'm going to P.E. with Mr. King. Okay, here is a hall pass. Please go straight to your class and give this to Mr. King. I will. Thank you for all your help. See you later today. Hello. Are you enjoying the story? Please give us a like. Thank you. Hey there, how was your weekend? Hey friend, it was pretty good. I had a lot of homework, but at least I got it all done. What about you? It was okay. I didn't have a lot of homework, but I was really busy. I had a soccer tournament on Saturday and Sunday. I'm so tired. Awesome, I heard you guys won the tournament. That's great. I wish I could have come to watch a couple of games. Mrs. Burnett gives a lot of homework on weekends. It took me like three hours. Wow, 
That is the worst. I'm glad to have Mr. James for algebra. I would not have had time for all that homework this weekend. He doesn't give a ton of homework, and he's really funny. Mrs. Burnett is definitely not a comedian. I can't wait for this semester to end. Anyways, the bell just rang. It is time for lunch. I'm starving. Do you want to walk with me to the cafeteria? Yes, I ran out of the house without eating breakfast and after playing soccer all weekend, I could eat a whole pizza right now. Let's go eat. <laughs> that actually sounds really good. Mmm, pizza. I wonder what is on the menu today. My mom packed my lunch, but I might buy something extra to go with it. I checked the menu last night, and I think lunch today is Meatless Monday. Black bean burgers, fries, fruit, and milk. Meh. Yum. Fries. I'm going to get some to go with my lunch. Did you pack, or are you buying your lunch? I'm buying my lunch today. I hope they'll let me buy some extra fries or fruit, because I can hear my stomach rumbling. I am so hungry. Black bean burgers aren't my favorite. Ah, oh, man. Well, I hope they hook you up with some extra fries. If I have extra stuff, I can share it with you. Let me see. There's a turkey sandwich, an apple, chips, a few cookies. We can trade once we get all our food and sit down. Sounds good. Let's go get in line. It looks pretty long already. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future. Hello, Joan. Welcome to the group. I'm looking forward to getting to know a little more about you today. Hi. Thank you so much for the warm welcome. I am really delighted to be here with you today. Perfect. Can you start by telling us a little about yourself? Where are you from? Your interest? Things you're good at? Maybe some things you want to learn? Of course. So as you know, my name is Joanne. I am from just outside of Washington, D.C. in a suburban town in Northern Virginia. I really love kayaking and being outdoors. I am also really good at long distance running. I would love to learn more about other cultures and travel to those places. Thank you for sharing all that. It sounds like you stay really busy. How great that you stay physically active. That is so important. How do you make sure you have time for everything? I am meticulous in my planning. I think it is very important to keep a calendar and update it regularly to make sure you don't miss or forget anything. I also have a lot of studying time, but I make sure to include relaxation and social time too. What else would you like us to know about you? I am an animal lover. I have two dogs, a cat, a couple of fish, and I also just got a chameleon. I would adopt every animal in the whole world if I could. My friends joke that my house is a mini zoological park. That's great. It sounds like you know what you like and you're not afraid to go after it. That's a great quality to have. What do you think are your biggest challenges or obstacles? Well, sometimes I can get overwhelmed. If I have too many assignments, too much on my schedule, or I am just worn down, I need to be flexible. 
I am working on balancing it all a little better, but I do think I do a pretty good job. I think so too. Thank you so much for taking the time to tell us about yourself today. You are going to be such an excellent addition to our group. I am so grateful to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for calling Chacos. My name is Julie. How can I help you? Hi, Julie. I would like to place an order for delivery. Sure. What can I get for you? I will have the onion rings as an appetizer, but please make sure that they are not too well done. Will do. What else would you like? I want the spicy chicken sandwich. Please have the chef put the mayonnaise and lettuce on the side. They were a bit soggy last time because of the heat. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll make sure that it's perfect this time. Would you like to speak to my manager about it, sir? No, that is all right. I will try it again. Okay. Anything else? I want that signature cake that you all have. What is it called again? Excellent choice. That's our signature Choco Hottos. Which are our molten chocolate cake balls. If you're a chocolate lover like me, nothing beats the chocolate cake balls filled with melted liquid chocolate. Those are the ones. Can you ask the chef to hold the chocolate, please? Um, sorry, sir. I'm only kidding. I know that it is impossible to do that. I will take them the way that they come. You are funny, sir. I'll get this order ready personally. Also, I have great news. My manager said that the delivery fees is on the house for you today. Hopefully, this helps resolve the issue from your last visit. Please, can I have your address for the delivery? Please thank your manager for me. I live at eleven sixteen Pine Road in the Murray area of town. Your order will be ready in half an hour. Your delivery person should arrive in approximately forty-five minutes. Will the driver need to go through a security gate? No, they won't. There is no gate. It is a standalone house in a neighborhood. And Julie, thank you. You have been most accommodating. It's my pleasure, sir. Will you be paying in cash to the driver or with card over the phone? Here is my card number, one two three four seven 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 eight nine seven four nine, and the security code is one one three four. Please add in a five dollar tip for yourself, Julie. Thank you so much, sir, for everything, and thank you for calling Chacos. Good afternoon. Hello, doctor. You came here before. We can compare your X-ray from your last visit to today's. Have you had any discomfort since our last visit? My gums hurt when I floss. I also feel pain when I brush my teeth. Where is the pain? On this side of my mouth, doctor. Let's see. Please sit back and open your mouth wide. Okay. Can you feel this? Yeah. This sounds like yes to me. Stay still, while I check this spot on your X-ray. Okay. You do have a cavity in that spot. Your cavity was not treated. Your tooth has decay. It should have a filling. It does not have a filling. It's worse now because it was not treated. 
We will need to fix this tooth with a root canal. My assistant will remove the suction. Thank you. I was scheduled for a filling. I didn't come. What happens now? Will I be okay, doctor? You sure will. You will survive. Will I lose my tooth? No, you will not lose your tooth. We will save it. I will do a root canal to save your tooth. Do I have your permission to get started? Yes, doctor, you have my permission. Assistant Beth, please re-enter the section. Let's get started. <laughs> Don't thank me now. Let us get the job done first. Okay. We are done. You cannot eat for three hours. Is my tooth all right? It is now. To avoid more cavities, you must brush twice a day and floss. I sure will. I don't want any more dental issues. So long as you follow good dental hygiene, you won't have any more cavities. Thank you for coming in. We will see you in a few weeks for a checkup. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You too, doctor. Hi, honey. I'm nearly done with dinner. How was your day? It was fine. How was yours? Great. I need that spatula over there. Can you please hand it over? Sure. Where is it exactly? It's right there. It's in the top drawer. It is next to the other utensils. I see the whisk, ladle, meat pounder, and tongs, but no spatula. Maybe it is in the dishwasher? Oh, you're probably right. Please check for me. Yep, it is in the dishwasher. Found it. Here it is. By the way, how does this new garlic mincer work? It works like magic. It's my favorite kitchen toy. Honey, can you please send Tom down to help me set the table? I will. Tom, how was school? It was great. How was work, Dad? Fine. Hey, please get downstairs and help your mother set up the table so we can eat. I'm on it, Dad. Yes, I'm happy that you're here to help me, Tom. Of course, Mom. This food smells delicious. And, guess what? All set. Wow, Tom, that was record trimming. You're faster than a bolt of lightning. That is so true. Need anything else, Mom? Actually, I do. Please grab the water pitcher. Where is it? It's in the cupboard next to the mixing bowls. It must have been moved. It is over here, behind the blender. Is this the one that you want? That's the one. Thank you. This dinner smells amazing. I can't wait to eat. You don't have to wait. Dig right in. Enjoy, boys. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Welcome to the Red Cross. We are so honored to have you here. Thank you for donating blood today. It is my pleasure. I think it is the right thing to do. 
Donating blood helps so many people. Yes, you are so right. Here, please eat one of these snacks while we draw. The snack will help keep your blood sugar levels in the right position during the blood draw. I do have a few questions first. Sure. Do you have a history of any medical conditions? No, I sure don't. Do you have a history of any medical conditions that run in your family? No, I don't believe so. Have you donated blood before? Yes, I have. Was your donation done through one of our drives or a different blood drive? I did it here, with this drive, at this location. Please let me check your hemoglobin. I will prick your finger with this needle to check. Sure. Your hemoglobin is great. We can now draw your blood for the donation. I am ready. Please sit calmly, put your arm out, and I'll check for a vein. Yes, of course. I will wrap this tourniquet tight so that your veins pop. I want to see them clearly. All right. There, that worked. I can see this one. You are good at this. I'll be as gentle as possible. I am fine. Thank you. Please be still. I'm almost done. Sure. I've finished. Please hold this bandage roll over the wound till I get the bandage on. Thank you, nurse. You're more than welcome. I'm glad that I didn't hurt you any. No, it sure didn't. Please hold your arm up for a few minutes. How do you feel? Are you feeling dizzy? I am not dizzy. I feel fine. Thank you so much for donating blood today. I wish you an awesome day ahead. I am happy that I stopped by. You please have a great day, too. Now you are going to listen to the story. Then I will ask many questions about it. You must answer every question. If you need some extra time, use your pause button and answer the question. Okay, let's get started. Once upon a time, there was a man. His name was Alex. Alex was a poor man. He was jobless. He lived in the small and old cottage. That year, it didn't rain and his crops dried. He was starving. He wanted to eat delicious meals. So he went to town to look for a job, hoping to find something to eat. While he was walking at the square, he saw an announcement poster on the wall. According to the poster, a princess was looking for a brave man to defeat a dangerous dragon. because the dragon had kidnapped her father and mother. Alex joined the princess, and they set off to save her parents. <coughs> the journey was extremely challenging. They climbed mountains, 
went through the caves and forest. The forest was covered with enchanted trees. Alex cut them all off. The princess and Alex overcame all the difficulties. Then they encountered a wise man. The wise man said to them, There is only one way to beat the dragon. I'll help you if you take out my special sword. It has been stuck in those rocks for years. Alex took out the sword. And the wise man joined their adventure. Finally, they found a castle. They sneaked into the castle. In the castle, they saw the dragon. But wait, behind it, there were two people. There were the parents of the princess, the king and the queen. Alex and his friends fought against the dragon and defeated it. The king and queen were free. Everyone was happy. Alex was awarded by the king. He was no longer hungry. Also, he was in love with the princess. The princess loved Alex too. So they got married and they lived happily ever after. The End Okay, that is the end of our fairy tale. Let's go back to the beginning, this time with questions. Once upon a time, there was a poor man. His name was Alex. What was there? A man. There was a man. Was there a rich man? No, there wasn't. There wasn't a rich man. There was a poor man. What was his name? Alex. His name was Alex. Did Alex have a job? No, he didn't. He didn't have a job. He was jobless. Did Alex live in a new house? No, he didn't. He didn't live in a new house. He lived in an old house. Did Alex live in a big house? No, he didn't. He didn't live in a big house. He lived in a small and old cottage. Was Alex's house small and old? Yes, it was. His house was small and old. Why was Alex jobless? Because it didn't rain that year, so his crops dried. Did Alex have a lot of food? No, he didn't. He didn't have a lot of food. He was starving. Was Alex hungry or full? He was hungry. In fact, he was starving. What did Alex want? 
Alex wanted to eat delicious meals. What did Alex do to find food? He went to town to look for a job, hoping to find something to eat. Did Alex go to a village? No, he didn't. He didn't go to a village. He went to town. Did Alex see a clown in the town? No, he didn't. He didn't see a clown in the town. He saw an announcement poster. What did he see? An announcement poster. He saw an announcement poster. Where was the poster hung? It was hung on a wall. What did Alex see in the poster? A princess and a dragon. The princess was looking for a brave man to defeat a dangerous dragon. Was there a rock star in the poster? No, there wasn't. There wasn't a rock star. There was a princess. Was there a dinosaur in the poster? No, there wasn't. There wasn't a dinosaur. There was a dragon. What was the princess looking for? A brave man. She was looking for a brave man. Did the princess want to defeat a dangerous cat? No, she didn't want to defeat a cat. What did the princess want to defeat? She wanted to defeat a dangerous dragon. Hi, Jill. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. I was out of town for spring break. Oh, I see. I thought you weren't feeling well. I was getting ready to call and check on you today after work. That is so sweet of you, Dan. I am glad that you're all right. How was your trip? It was fun. My parents took me to Disneyland. We got to see the castle and Mickey Mouse. That is so cool. You know, Disney on Ice is in town. I was planning to go check it out tomorrow night after work. Would you like to go with me? That sounds like fun. You know I love Disney. What time does the show start? Where should we meet? We can either leave from here when we get off work, or I can pick you up at your place. What works best for you? I do need to walk my puppy, Peppers, before we go. We could walk him together. Yes, I was hoping that you wanted to do that. We can also catch dinner after that, too, if you would like. I am excited. We will have a great time. Thank you so much for the invite. Of course. Thank you for agreeing to go with me. It is almost time for our lunch break. Would you like to go out for lunch today? I am sorry. I have to play catch up right now. I need to get all of this done so that we can enjoy tomorrow night. Well, I will pick up something for you then. What do you want to eat? Aw, thank you so much, Dan. I would love the chicken wrap. You're a lifesaver. You always do the same for me. I will be back very soon. You're the best, Dan. 
Thank you. Stacy, are you awake yet? It's time to get ready for school. Uh, Mom, can I please have five more minutes? Um, you better get up now. You know how quickly you run out of time in the mornings. All right, Mom, I'm getting up. Do you know where my favorite purple T-shirt is? It must be in the washing machine if it's not in your drawer. You didn't set your clothes out last night. I thought I did. I guess it slipped my mind. I was up late studying. Please let me know if I can help you with anything. Why don't you wear that green one? It matches your eyes perfectly. Thanks, Mom. I will. I made you your favorite snack and lunch. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Breakfast is ready when you are. What's for breakfast? French toast with honey and fresh kiwi slices. I also brewed you some hot tea. I made it sweet, just like you, my dear. <gasps> you are the best. I love you. I love you more. Are you ready to eat? I will be right there. That green looks amazing on you. <laughs> I'm glad that the purple T-shirt was dirty. I'm not. You know that's my favorite one. I know. I'll wash it today, sweetie. Maybe you can wear it tomorrow. Yes, I sure will. You can look like an eggplant if you wear your purple pants too. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, you got jokes today. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Now let's go. You don't want to be late. Okay, I'll be out soon. Last one to the car is an eggplant. Oh, save that joke for tomorrow. Today I can't be an eggplant, Mom. I'm wearing green. Do you have these shoes in size ten? Size nine is too small for my feet. I am sorry, but we don't. How about those shoes over there? If you want, I can check to see if we have them in your size. No, thank you. I really want this pair. Do you have another Nike store location nearby? Yes, our other Nike store is in the mall down the street. I am from out of town, so I will need your help with directions, please. Where is the mall? You will take a right turn once you leave the parking lot. Then you will drive to the stoplight. You will need to make a left turn at the stoplight, and you can't miss it. The mall will be on your right-hand side. I got it. It sounds easy enough. Thank you so much. For sure. Excuse me. Can you please point me to the direction of the Nike store? Yes, of course. You need to walk straight down this way and take the escalator down to the first floor. When you get off the escalator, go straight till you see the playground, and then you'll make a left turn at the corridor after the playground. It is the biggest store in that area of the mall, so you should be able to find it easily. Yes, I think I got it. Thank you so much. You bet. 
Will you be coming back this way before you leave the mall? Yes, I will. I parked outside of this restaurant. Well, for today only, you can get a free appetizer with any entree. All you need is a coupon from our information center in the middle of the mall. Where is that exactly? It is close to the Nike store. It is directly across the corridor from it. That sounds amazing. I am hungry, so I will be seeing you again very soon. That's great. You can ask for me. My name is Mike. I sure will. See you soon, Mike. Hello, I'll be right with you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for your patience. How can I help you? I have a headache, a sore throat, a cough, and my nose is runny and stuffy. Those are the symptoms of a sinus infection. How can I cure this? I can either offer you some over-the-counter recommendations or at-home remedies. I would like to hear both, please. For over-the-counter, you can buy ibuprofen for your headache, nasal spray for your runny nose, and oral decongestant for your stuffiness. For at-home remedies, you can drink plenty of water, eat foods that have antibacterial properties, and use eucalyptus oil. I have heard of the eucalyptus oil working well. I have some at home. How do I use it? You'll need to inhale it directly. You can either add a few drops to a tissue to breathe it in that way, or add a few drops to a bowl of boiling water and inhale the steam. I didn't realize that I could fix this so easily. You've been most helpful. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Please feel better soon. Just one more thing, if you don't mind me asking. Sure. What brand of ice cream would you recommend from here? Are you feeling better already? The ice cream is for when I get better. I see. I think Blue Bell is the best. I am so glad your pharmacy is inside the convenience store. It makes life so convenient. I can get everything I need in one stop. I'm glad that you're preparing for a sweet ending. Please have a beautiful day. See you next time. You too. Thank you so much. You have been amazing. May I please try these on? Sure. Our dressing rooms are right over here. What is the maximum number of items that I can take into the dressing room? Up to six items are allowed in the dressing room at one time. I can hold down to any of the items that you have previously tried on in Lank. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Definitely. That's what I'm here for. I have ten items that I want to try on. You can try on six now. We will hold anything that you like here on this stand. This will give you the chance to take more items in to try on. We will work together on this. Okay. Now is everything looking? Can I change any of the sizes for you? Well, I like this dress and these pants. The rest of these items are too big for me. I will take a look to see if we have them in smaller sizes for you. Thanks.
Here you are. We have the items in the sizes that you need. That is great. I am so glad that you have this shirt because it will go well with these pants that fit me earlier. Hopefully this all fits to your liking. I have wonderful news. Everything fits. I will take all of these. I am so happy that you found everything that you were looking for. Me too. I want you to get recognized for being so kind to me. I'll be sure to let the cashier know that you helped me today. That's nice. I do get credit when you mention my name, so I will be more than grateful if you do that. For sure. I want you to get the commission. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I'll see you the next time I come in to shop. I'll look for you again because you really helped me out a lot today. I enjoy helping and I am so happy that you enjoyed your shopping experience. Please have a great day. I will see you soon then. Yes, see you soon. You can practice English whenever and wherever you want. Just listen to our short stories and answer the easy question out loud. You will improve your listening and speaking skills fast. The Neighborhood Picnic It was the day of the neighborhood picnic. Mary needed to bake her apple pie so she could share it with her neighbors. She got out her recipe and ingredients. She had flour, salt, apples and cinnamon, but no sugar. Without sugar, the pie would not be sweet enough. Mary went to her next door neighbor to ask for some sugar. Her neighbor's name was Ron. Mary knocked on Ron's door three times. Ron answered the door. Hi, Mary, said Ron. Hi, Ron, said Mary. I'm baking a pie for the picnic and I don't have any sugar. Do you have some that I can borrow? Sure, said Ron. I was just making lemonade for the picnic, so the sugar is right here. How much do you need? Hello, are you enjoying the story? Please give us a like. Thank you. I need one cup of sugar, said Mary. There was one cup of sugar sitting on the counter. Ron picked it up. Here you go, he said. And he gave the cup of sugar to Mary. Thank you so much, Ron, said Mary. I will see you later at the picnic. Mary went home with a cup of sugar. She baked the apple pie. Later, Mary walked by herself to the picnic with her apple pie. She placed her apple pie on a table under a tree. 
When she turned around, she saw Ron. Hi, Ron, said Mary. Thanks again for the sugar. I hope you will have some apple pie. You're welcome, Mary, said Ron. I will have some pie. Would you try some of my lemonade? Ron poured Mary a cup of lemonade. Mary drank a sip and puckered her lips. The lemonade was so sour. Ron smiled. I'm sorry about the sour taste. Next time, I won't give away my last cup of sugar. Ron and Mary laughed. If you like this video and want to see more videos like it, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Okay, back to the beginning with questions. You must answer every question. Use your pause button and answer the question. Then play again. You can answer with just one word or two words, it's okay. Short answers are okay. Always answer the questions with a strong voice. This is so important. When you do this, you teach your mind, you teach your brain to be confident when you speak English. Your English will improve much, much faster. Is the picnic tomorrow? No, the picnic is today. What was Mary bringing to the picnic? An apple pie. She was bringing an apple pie to the picnic. Was she bringing sushi to the picnic? No, she wasn't. She was not bringing sushi to the picnic. She was bringing an apple pie to the picnic. Was Mary bringing a cake to the picnic? No, she wasn't. She was bringing an apple pie to the picnic. Was Mary baking chocolate chip cookies for the picnic? No, she wasn't. She was not baking chocolate chip cookies for the picnic. Was she baking an apple pie for the picnic? Yes, she was. She was baking an apple pie for the picnic. Was the picnic for Mary's work? No, it wasn't. It wasn't for her work. The picnic was for the neighborhood. She got out her recipe and ingredients. She had flour, salt, apples and cinnamon, but no sugar. Did she get out her sword and gun? No, she didn't. She didn't get out her sword and gun. What did she get out? Her recipe and ingredients. She got out her recipe and ingredients. What were the ingredients? Flour, salt, apples, cinnamon, and sugar. Was there strawberry in the ingredients? No, there wasn't. There wasn't strawberry in the ingredients. Did Mary have flour? 
Yes, she had flour. Did she have cinnamon? Yes, she had cinnamon. Did she have apples? Yes, she had. She had apples. Did Mary have sugar? No, she did not have sugar. So, what did she do? She went to her next door neighbor to ask for some sugar. Who was Mary's next door neighbor? Ron. Her next door neighbor was Ron. Was Ron Mary's husband? Listen to the lessons repeatedly to think in English and automatic speaking. Repetition is very, very important to become fluent. You need to speak English fluently without translating in your head. The words should come out of your mouth automatically. So, this is where the repetition comes in. If you repeat the same vocabulary and sentences many times, you will become a master of this vocabulary and grammar. So, you will be able to use that words automatically, without thinking about grammar rules and without translating vocabulary in your head. In order to think in English, you must repeat vocabulary and sentences as much as you can. After lots of repetition, eventually you will start to think English in your head and improve your speaking skills. As I mentioned before, we use the question and answer method repeatedly in our short story lessons. So, you will listen to the vocabulary and sentences many times in the same lesson. Was Ron Mary's husband? No, he was not Mary's husband. Who was Ron? Ron was her next-door neighbor. What did Mary ask Ron for? A cup of sugar. She asked Ron for a cup of sugar. Okay, that is the end of our practicing story number 21. Please listen to this story many times as usual. Remember, pause and answer the questions if necessary. If you're fast, you can answer the questions without pausing. But if you need some extra time, pause and answer the questions. If possible, if you're alone, shout the answers. Strong body, standing up, big smile, and shout your answers very strong. Feel confident. Feel strong when you speak English. I will see you next time. Bye. If you want to complete your practice of this story, you can go to EnglishEasyPractice.com and download the audio lessons of the story. So you can practice English with it whenever and wherever you want. Just listen to our short stories and answer the easy question out loud. You will improve your listening and speaking skills fast. And that's all for now. See you at EnglishEasyPractice.com.